Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 10 Game Sprints. This is Andy Davo trying to demonstrate how to play Dark Elves. Um, if you're watching on Twitch, you will have noticed that I just got the team deleted. So, this is uh, game one, again, uh, and it is against humans. Um, we have spun into Storm, Storm Vermin, um, and he's played three and drawn all three of them. Uh, he's got Block on a Catcher, which is underwhelming, I think, if you were him for three games, but... Let's see what we've got. Um, he's got, I've got Penny Cash at 50k, um, so we'll just pile straight in uh, with our babe and move straight on. Uh, good luck to the Hueys. <laughs> Thank you very much, Guinness. What, I don't know what BT Factor is. Thanks, uh, Extra Arms Bot. Um, I'm okay with kicking here because I'd rather take the ball off him, score on him. Um, and generally have my one turn offense uh, at turn eight rather than um, <laughs> be on offense um, and have to score on turn eight and get the one turn on turn 16. So I think he's done the right thing there, which is a shame. <laughs> um, oh, look, more ogres. Yes, but there's only one of them, not six of them. Um, and I haven't got any war dances. <laughs> uh, hey there. Now this game, this game should be, uh, I'd say, actually slightly favouring the dark elves ever so slightly because um, I've got three block, he's got four. Um, we're all armor eight apart from one of his players and I've got agility four across the board and he's got agility three. So um, overall, it's all right. Um, FB says, I'm curious to see how you played early Dark Elves. Um, honestly, Dark Elves, I, I, I maintain Dark Elves are one of the hardest races to play. Uh, in the initial two to three, first three games. Once you've got them going, they're fine. But I think is as one of their first first couple of games, they can be a bit of a shit. So we've got two dice there. <clears throat> we will move one in and get two dice there, and then we'll try and take two dice there. Um, and I think we will therefore probably end up blitzing on this side because we're blocking from that direction. Uh, the Witch Elf is there to catch the ball um, or just be around. Um, and this is a relatively okay anti blitz. You also have 187. I've got one, but it's got dodge, so um, it's not the end of the world. And he got fame, he's played three games, it's not a surprise. Flop. Keep it based because it's fell over. Looking there. Looking for a pal, please. That's annoying. That's actually super annoying because now I can't get two dice on the ogre. That's really annoying. Maybe I should have played. Maybe I should have ended up basing him there for bringing this guy in for two dice in. Easy things. Okay. Um, normally I'd want to stand there and blitz pushing this way, but we might get served if I do that. Because if this is both down, I'm not re-rolling it. Actually, put me on the pick up. Pick up. We don't. We the ball. You're going to end up going over there, I think, to screen that off. Try and avoid a skull. Thank you very much. 
don't follow because one, I get based by this, and two, it's now only based by one player. Stop you there. And that will do. This way, I suppose. Boom. There we go. Uh, which team has the best starting roster? Um, what? When you say best, what do you mean? Best as in most effective to win the game? Um, or strongest against any other roster? Like, what? what's the criteria here? Um, if you mean strongest to win games, probably the two strongest are Amazons and Dwarves. Probably. They have the least, they have the fewest um, bat matchups. Undead would also probably be in there as well. <coughs> I, I would put Undead in there early on. Orcs are a troll. Orcs are not bad. I don't think that that Tier 1 would be those three teams. And then Tier 2, I would probably put Orcs in there. Wood Elves, no, oh, Wood Elves I'd say are tier 2. Like, they're not bad, they're absolutely not bad. But I don't think they're quite, quite top end tier 1. Bring the ball forward, I don't need to bring the ball forward here, this is lazy play from me. Um, we might entice him to do something stupid, so uh, we're going to do that. Is there a player in that square there? No. That's a shame. So we're going to blitz there, and if we're going to blitz there, we might as well make the ball safe, right? It's an important early consideration. Is your ball safe? Can't fill in that square because that's where the ogre's going. same considerations as before now um, I think that's what's done um, if you're playing this optimally I think what you probably would do is bring the ball back here um, I am concerned about this player like, roguing his way around and being annoying so um, the reason for taking the ball back here is I'm not trying to score yet I am gonna just screw around and genuinely be annoying um, but by bringing the ball forward this move happens it brings him just slightly towards the uh, the sideline. Two turns down and you gave me a frenzy blitz. <laughs> yeah, but you have got a mighty blown claw player. I've got nothing. Yeah. Um, hello Danny, welcome back. You're making a habit of this. Just finished my third lead match with Wood Elves, TV of 890. Two good players and a ward answer with strength too. Think I'm winning. <laughs> yeah. Now this turn will play itself out. If you followed my core rules, um, if anyone who's had any coaching sessions would know what the core rules were, um, this turn would literally play itself out. Wouldn't need to do any thinking, it would just play itself completely through. Right, we'll wait until he's finished, which he's basically done now. Um, and we're, we're going to use this turn as a uh, sort of an anatomy of a turn, and we'll discuss what we should be trying to do. I just want to make sure he doesn't do anything bizarre with his last player that screws it up. He hasn't. Good. Okay, so we've got two minutes to run through this lightning break uh, speed. Um, 
first of all, we consider what is the strategic goal for the half. The strategic, strategic goal for the half is to score on turn eight. Is it turn eight? No, it's turn three. What do we need to do? We need to just basically fuck around and waste time. Um, when we're doing that, we need to go on to question two. Is the ball safe? Currently, mostly. Um, but if we look at this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. So he's got a one dice with two go for it. So we've left him two plus, two plus, four plus for the ball. That is not not good enough and it needs to be made safer before we throw any blocks. Um, therefore, we can go on to question three, where's our blitz? Well, question three and four are also linked together. Where's our blitz and where are our points of contact? What can we do to our points of contact? Well, we've got this guy here. We can get two dice here. So that is, needs to be in here for this ball blitz. This guy goes here, that's two dice and that's two dice. Um, and then we've got this one little problem here, which if we block there and block there, means that that's the blitz. Well, if that's the blitz, that's not the blitz. Therefore, that needs to be screened off so he can't do anything obnoxious to us. Um, he is in this shape because we're in this shape, and I quite like the shape we're both in, so let's not try and break that. So, move one. You might want to slow that down and consider it. Um, so we run through it since we're in two-minute turns. Uh, we'll put you in there. We'll put you in there because I think we can then make this safer. Yeah. Right, ball is not entirely safe, but I might need this witch elf to go and stand in that square there because I need to know what happens with that block. So. Starting here. Uh, take the power so I can push along the line. Don't follow, stay put. Uh, that's naughty. This is a naughty block. Stay put. I've got two guys there. Uh, this is the important one. If this is a pal, we got the entire turn and we're blitzing the ogre. It is. Hello. Which means that because we know we're blitzing the ogre, that's going there. And that's the blitz. And I suppose from an optimization point of view, if I'd actually have blocked. Ha 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 ha. Oh dear. Oh, okay, go on then. From an optimization point of view, I suppose um, I could have let that run. I, I should have blocked here first because then I would have known whether or not I needed to do anything. And this is also brought about because we brought the ball forward. Um, and this is me trying to play the person and play around rather than play the most effective football. My brain hurts after listening to that. Yeah. Show me magic. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, magical viewers. I feel like I've got neck ache or brain or something. That's really annoying. Okay, so we've got the same problem again. Um, now we haven't really got a reroll to rely on, which is a shame. Don't really have a reli re reliably reroll y. Um, not trying to score yet, so don't need to think about that. Um, we are going to now take the ball, however, and wedge it all the way back here because uh, um, I want to get away from these guys. So we're going to give away loads and loads of yardage. Um, loads and loads of yardage.
So let's just do this. Too many go for it. Right, one three plus gives us two more two pluses. Okay, that gives us two plus there. Sorry, two dice there. Um, and then that gives us two dice up there. And really what I'm fishing for is I'm doing I'm doing loads and loads and loads of blocks every turn. Um, it would be entirely reasonable for that to happen. We've left him one point of contact. Next turn we will now start thinking turn five, turn six, following the same uh, strategic goal. Uh, it's now worth thinking about getting the ball and taking it downfield. All right, Tom, how are you doing? Too much self-congratulation. Nothing wrong with a bit of self-congratulation. Never mind. So he's setting up three dice for the ogre. 1-1 one, one removals. Yes, he's 1-1 one, one removals, but I am head from a throwing block dice point of view. I have thrown many more of the block dice than he has. <clears throat> no prediction is off. You guys didn't set one up. Um, so I will leave it up to you to set a prediction up. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, surf the thrower. Nice spot. Um, nice spot, yeah. There's two different ways of surfing the thrower here. Uh, we can do the reverse surf. Um, or we can do the uh, the forward surf, thinking surf. Uh, but yeah, I think I think surf the thrower is the play. Um, absolutely think throw it. Surf the Shirato Kai Chid. X100. Oh, I don't know about chill. too much self congratulating. Didn't I just watch a pro <laughs> streamer <laughs> lose with his favorite team against the worst team in Blood Bowl? I think he did, yeah. Um, I think he did. Um, now, the ball isn't entirely safe here. Um, so I suppose, I suppose, since we're trying to play, like, mostly properly, we should play, uh, we should play that out. And now let's get away from these guys so I don't follow that up. Um... Missed, we needed a push on the first one, so we needed a 55% play into another 55% play. We didn't find it. Never mind. But he is stunned, and the stun itself is quite helpful. So you're going to go, massively depends what this block is, because I think I'm going to throw a three dice as well on this guy, and then you're going to run range and stand in here, uh, which means you can go one more square further forward. So two dice block, finds a power, lets that be a follow, which means that the, oh no, I was about to say, which lets the blitzer go through there, but I, like a dumbass, I've managed to block that off. Um, he should have gone there. So we're going one, two, three, four. Sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Should be. I should be stood there with the blitzer. 
Bora, meu Donato. So we're going to leave that as the weak point. He's going to collapse on it. We're going to fuck off that way and we'll score. How many times before this one? Uh, one. That's predicted. He's going to stand there. And the reason I think that was a mistake and a misplay was because if we just do this uh, and look, look at it from his point of view, just for a second, um, what we've got is um, he's only got a bit of resource now that he can bring it around here unless this actual, this dodge makes and stuff. Um, and I've got a nice spread team. We can keep pushing this way or not. I think the Blitz was this guy to start with because you know, I can surf this guy for one. Um, I can do lots of stuff to it. I don't think I don't think this is gonna be good enough. So anyway, let's flip it around from our side. Uh, is this game number two? Uh, it's it's Dark Elf game number two, but um, it's actually match number one. Game one, match two. <clears throat> cool. Right, turn six. Ball needs to go further forward. So the ball needs to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Ball needs to go there. We need to do that probably before we roll any other dice. Um, so let's do that literally now. That would have eaten a team reroll 100%. We will blitz there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's keep that. This is to try and now cut these guys off. These guys are also cut off. Uh, I think we do the blitz next. One, two, three, four, five. If we blitz with this guy, I've got no squares of movement left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can get there, so therefore that's the blitz. Let's see whether this is a knockdown or not. It's tedious. And now we've got a problem. Yeah. That's annoying. Yeah, it's a reset. Uh, so we've only got. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Only got two squares of lateral movement left in the locker. Um, or we have to start rolling two pluses. Wouldn't be the end of the world if we didn't score, but it would be the optimal. what we found so far. We found uh, two sets of double scores, right? <laughs> Danny Player 1 believes in me. Thank you very much, Danny. Many people have not believed in me.
Yeah, this turn's going to be a tricky one, so you're going to have to stand up. Uh, we want to blitz there. Um, I haven't actually got a blitz to do the blitz, which is fucking irritating. Can't stand in there. You're going to stand up. Um, this is going to suck. This is going to suck. In fact, I can't blitz through there. I literally can't blitz through there. Because if I blitz through there, um, we have a problem. The ball carrier is in the wrong square. Okay. Right, you're not going anywhere. This is um, this is a super spicy one. Starting darkness are just fucking tedious. They really are tedious. Ugh. Game one of the Dark Elf Sprint. We, we can still win, it's just... I think I think what this does genuinely do, though, is it emphasises um, Dark Elves are one of the teams with a very high um, variance to start with. Because they're shit when they have no skills. Two re-rolls and three positionals. Um, it, yeah, I've, I've thrown two double schools and a school both down. Um, and I have run out of resources to do something about it. That's what happened. And it's a variance problem. And it's left him with... We've actually now probably thrown about the same amount of hits. Ha! You can't... You, you literally can't do a 3 reroll build Dark Elves. It's, um, it's, it's two blitzers and 11 linemen if you want to do that. Which is utterly not viable. They have four blocks and AGI four. What more do you need for Dark Elves? Question mark. L U L.
It's, um, you just need to not have a bad game one. As long as you don't have a bad game one, it's all right. Um, but it is super important that you don't get screwed in half like this. Because um, once, once they've got blitzers with dodge, it's not like I'm saying, oh, they need all these things. They just need some, they need semi-reliable things that can do stuff. Um, and once they've got that, they're fine. They just need dodge. Three plus fives, five plus three plus five plus for the reroll. Yeah. Toronto, thank you for the sub. Oh, Toronto, did I not see it? Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you very much. And 21 months as well. How did you not win? The game hates me. Um. Okay. He's actually not got any frenzy, so let's do that. It's funny because your friend thinks your dice are excellent. Uh, huh. I, I mean, meh. I think the block, the the dice when it mattered were pants. Um, and I, no. Oh well. Would he ever taken an assassin? Um, only when hell sort of gets very fr frosty. No, I don't like that. In this, in this current build, there will be. Um, I think they've had a bit of a, they've had a tiny bit of a rework, I think, on the next uh, edition. Didn't they get moved up to movement seven? And now they're not complete shit, but they're not very good. On that day, ice, Satan will be ice getting to work. Yeah. I mean, I, you you say that, though. It's like Santa... I've always pondered that statement, because I don't think he actually owns a pair of um, the, the flip-flops or whatever they are, the, the blades. Because um, why would you own any? But shadowing is now trash. Oh, they nerfed shadowing. Did they nerf shadowing? Oh, God. Let's take a skill that doesn't ever get used and nerf it. Why? Oh, dear. Oh, well. Shame we're down a witch elf, because I think um, surfing stuff here would be quite a good point. Oh, well. Sure that's not made into food ice in any way. There's also no reason to give away space. Just grinding teeth above all let's escape. Oh dear. Joe Stowes, are you a bot or are you real? Sure. Looks like it was a bot. Oh, we had a bot. 
Um, the prediction might only be a win from here. Oh, it's not. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. And we are sort of playing from behind because if he scores, I've got to score two. Um, and we're playing down players as well. So I need to find a ball snatch. Um, and I'm playing down players. Which is a pain in the arse. block as if oh <sighs> okay fine No pressure today, because it's got a block. The uh, best way to deal with this is to get compression between the two teams and then I can try and steal. <laughs> I don't like being an elf. I joined for an exciting new Dark Elf team and see it's going swimming. Yeah, it's going shit. It is, is what it's going like. squares. Well, 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 what have we here? Um, Push away from the thrower, be, uh, the catcher, because he might be a viable only recovery. Because you might, uh, never mind. Because you might have stunned this guy, and then if you bobbled it here, it's easier for him to get to. But we didn't stun him, so never mind. But it was a consideration. It was a thing to be aware of. Um, we will stand you up because his recovery sucks now. Uh, we'll stand you up, um, and we will dodge you to there. Now we will do one dice here into two dice there. Yeah. Oh, I have block. Uh, I can't follow that up. Uh, no, I'm going to follow that up. The reason to follow that up is because he's he's out of loads of you know, great options. Yes, he's got two dice there straight away. Actually, I shouldn't have followed that up because it was two dice anyway, right? That was just that was just silly. Yeah, that was pointless. Never mind. Let's move the second screen.
Mm -hmm. That was a free two dice for no reason. That was a mistake. Just get away with this. <clears throat> so, is he going to blitz with the thrower? Oh my god, that's asking for trouble. Um, so, about these number of chickens you've just purchased. Uh, one, two, three. No, Andy, do not count them. <laughs> A sudden change of momentum. The dice have swung. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can't score with you. Um, we've got one reroll left. I think, I think we blitz with this guy and see what happens. We'll not follow that up. That'll be a concession win. Brilliant. Legion. Come on. Come on. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. That gets me more my apothecary. Um, yeah. Two linemen got the MVP, so we've got two players who can throw the ball with next turn, next game. Um, and uh, Dark Elves. That's team ever. Oh, oh, oh. oh dear. Oh, that was a thing. Okay, so that was game one. Um, Objectives after this game, uh, start of the next game, throw the ball on these two line elves here, Tom the Owl and Ripper Doc. Um, um, give me those points. Yeah. Uh, you're new here on withdrawals usual. No, not really. Um, in Champ Ladder, you have a personal limit of five um, per coach. So, no, 